If you want to make your AI models actually perform actions, you need to know about MCP. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. If your AI model is like a brain, then MCP is a way to give it arms and legs. What this actually means in practice is that MCP acts as a protocol for AI models to interact with APIs that can live either online or be running on your local computer. So now our AI can go from just returning text responses to performing actual tasks. Let's see a quick example of this in action. Let's say we want to add a few packets of milk to our shopping list. We can just say this in plain English. And now we can see that the AI model decides that this request would be best answered by our MCP server and then actually calls the method to add four packs of milk to our shopping list. So how did we implement this? Let's look at one of the methods defined in a Spring Boot server that is used to add an item to a shopping list that is stored in memory. And if you're not using Java, there are similar libraries for other programming languages as well. We've added a name and description that allows our AI model to know that this method is used to add items for our shopping list or update its quantity. And further, that the client or AI model will need to specify the item's name and quantity. Our parameters are also named name and quantity to clearly signal what they mean. The names here are important. So make sure to name your argument variables according to what they are actually supposed to describe. Here we're just doing some initial validation and adding a new shopping item to the concurrent hash map shopping list. If an item already exists, we are updating its quantity. Finally, we are returning a string talking about the quantity and name of the item that we've added to our shopping list. Now we can set up the server in our Claude desktop application. To do this, open the settings in Claude desktop and edit the developer settings. We can open it up and add the command here to start our server. We can now save the settings and restart Claude desktop. And now we should see our server appearing in the tool menu. Here we can see all the methods that we've defined in our code. You can go to the linked video here to see the full tutorial on creating your own MCP server.